big ass shark when I see one. The Black Demon is a 2023 sci-fi horror thriller. Directed by Adrian Grunberg, it stars Josh Lucas, Fernanda Urejola, and Hector Jimenez. Stranded on a crumbling oil rig in Baja, Mexico, a family faces off against a vengeful megalodon shark. What's going on here? So I just went and saw this last night. I had to go to the drive-ins to see it because that's the only place even remotely near me that's playing it. I guess it's on a limited release right now. So I'm not sure if there's any theaters near you, you could check this out, but I'm sure it'll be on a streaming platform or a VOD at the very least before too long. So I wanna start this off with just letting you know this movie frustrated me because when you hear that premise and you think about a giant Megalodon shark, this isn't a super high budget movie, but it's also not a very low budget movie. This has got a decent enough budget and it's pretty well done in a lot of regards, right? It's just what made me so angry is the way this movie's written, the way it's trying to put across this message because you hear that premise and you're thinking it's gonna be a summer fun, stupid shark movie. Yeah, it's gonna kind of take the concept probably a little too serious, but at the end of the day, it's just this big shark against these people and they're fighting to try to survive. And that's what you go into this to see. And at first, when this gets going, I was excited. I really liked the setting of it. I love that it was down in Mexico and that it has an almost all Hispanic cast. They're all pretty damn good at acting. It just, in general, had the pieces together of being something really fun. Because even when you start to kind of see the shark a little bit, the way they do it, it, yeah, it's not the greatest like CGI type of stuff, but it's fun, but it's not in a really stupid, you know, low bottom of the barrel type of way either. It was along the lines of something that was gonna be very fun. But as it gets going, the message became more and more clear and more and more just crammed down your throat. And before long, it started to feel very reminiscent of what I just watched when I reviewed the movie Nefarious. Because those people are still coming after me, by the way. If you read some of the comments on that video, it's, it's wild, but anyway, it's this group of people that believe something very, very strongly. And I have no problem with that. Believe what you want to believe. I have no problem with you making a movie, preaching what you want to preach, right? But it doesn't mean I have to enjoy it because if your message is being just forced down my throat, being pounded at me and not with any nuance, any, not with any kind of real story, but just simply you preaching so overtly, so heavy handedly, just telling your story. And even if I agree with you for the most part, I think most people probably agree with the message this movie is trying to preach. It's the overwhelmingly harsh way that it's done in this because it's trying to say, you know, we're killing nature, that the big companies, the big powerful rich oil companies are killing nature. And, and I'm with that, man. Like, that's not something that I disagree with. It's even like in the movie Nefarious. It wasn't that I disagreed with the entire message of the movie. It's just the way it's presented is so important. And especially in this, this one was way worse to me than Nefarious because the actual premise, it's so silly. It's its a giant megalodon shark. I mean, I don't think anybody's gonna go to this movie thinking we're gonna go see this serious, you know, think piece about how we're killing nature. No, you're gonna go into this thinking it's gonna be a fun action movie, exciting, big old shark. It's gonna be silly and campy but maybe they'll put a little bit of a message, but it's not gonna be really just forced at you. But oh my God, you guys have no idea how harsh this movie is with its message. And the ending, and I'm not gonna spoil it because I'm not saying it's an absolute horrible movie and not something you might still have an entertaining time with. It's more of just, I get so frustrated with the writing. And what's more than that is, Here's a movie preaching about big companies pushing their garbage on us and, and just trying to make money by putting stuff out there and hurting nature or whatever. What about these movie companies that put out trash like this, that put budgets, millions, at least some millions into projects like this? I haven't done any research into this, so I don't know what kind of a big budget it had. I'm sure it didn't have a huge budget, but I guarantee you it was at least a few million and this movie is just so poorly written. And when I watch Shudder every single week, they pump out these tiny micro budget movies with these 
fantastic stories. There's so many talented writers out there. And then every week on my channel, I hear people commenting saying, there's nothing original anymore. There's nothing well written anymore. Movies all suck. They're just repeating the same regurgitated this, that, and the other. And I'm like, yes, but no. Not in the indie world. The indie horror movies are thriving. There are so many brilliant, amazing, talented writers out there that just don't get the chance to make movies like this. This is just this garbage studio stuff with these writers. Where are they finding them? Like, I just don't understand it. It seems so much cheaper and easier to just go find one of these writers and directors that do these great little gems, these amazing movies that are done with 100,000, 200,000, some even less than that budgets, and still put together a really enjoyable, entertaining, unique, original movie. Like, why? It makes no sense. Like, the Adams Family. How are those guys not getting these huge million dollar movies? Even not huge. But even a few million, like these guys are self-funding their own projects and make these amazing movies. I know this is a bit of a tangent, but it just frustrates me so much. I just don't get it. And it seems like such a waste of money, a waste of time to put these movies out there that aren't even fun campiness. Like if you're gonna be one of these studios and you wanna just throw something cheesy out there, that's fine. Then then lean into that, just be campy and goofy. You know, that's what I really liked about Cocaine Bear. It knew what it was. But I'm saying this doesn't even need to be like a comedy. Like what happened to those Deep Blue Sea movies? You know, they're, they're just like a, a campy action fun movie with big sharks and, and blood and just, what happened to that? It's like, it's either just absolute the lowest bottom of the barrel crappy goofy campiness that you see straight to tubi or this where it's this you know just too much money spent on something that just does not have any passion doesn't have any real fun to it like it's just a mess I really had a hard time even having straight, clear thoughts about how to review this movie because it just frustrates me about this much bigger issue that I see so much when I go see these movies. Like when I saw Fear earlier this year, or there's just a bunch of these movies where people, there's some, you know, these studios are still putting this chunk of money into these projects that are just like, who's reading it? Are they even reading the plot? How is it getting past this whole chain of people that are all saying, yeah, that seems like a great idea. I don't know, but I'm sure you guys would see this movie and be like, it wasn't that bad. But it's, it's like I said, it's the much bigger issue that frustrates me. I watch a lot of movies, and so I see a ton of this from these studios it, constantly. They constantly just put this money into this stuff, and I'm like, take that money, divide it up. Million here, million there. Do what Blumhouse does. You know, where they're giving these young filmmakers a chance. Half of them suck, but then you also get some really great ones out of it too because you're at least giving these young creatives a chance instead of just lining these pocketbooks of people that you're really not even taking the time to read the, the script, to read the, the, the story that these people are making. Like, ugh. I also think it really frustrated me because there was a lot of potential here. I really enjoyed the acting, especially from, the, like I said, the Latino cast. They were fantastic. The main star, Lucas, I, I've seen him in stuff that I've really liked before. I just thought he was really hard to watch in this, but it wasn't at all his fault. It was everything to do with the way it was written and just such a heavy handed role. So ridiculous. Like the way he acts, no big business guy you know wealthy whatever is gonna act the way he does in this movie it's just laughable it makes no sense it just is so not believable but the kids did a great job just everybody else their acting was really good it's just like i said the script and dialogue and the way it's put together and the ending of this it's just oh what a stupid ending that was so telegraphed was so obvious there was nothing original or creative about how they ended this. It's just dumb and once again was just really just forcing this issue over and over like big business bad, nature good, stop hurting nature. And it's like, I am with that message, but I've seen that done in so many, so many other movies that 
actually touches your spirit, touches your soul, makes you actually think because it's done in a way with nuance and creativity and artistry and passion. And you feel all that instead of just this hammering in this message that these people are so adamant needs to be in this silly movie about a giant megalodon shark eating people. I don't know. I don't know. I apologize for anybody out there that wanted a legit review of this movie because I thought it was fun in some ways. You could be entertained by it, but definitely don't spend money on this. This is another one that wait for it to come on VOD. I wouldn't spend any money. I would definitely wait till it's streaming somewhere for free. If you're a big fan of shark movies, especially, then I think you'll still be entertained a little bit by it. But I think... There are so, so many shark movies that are way, way better. And I have a list coming up soon of my top 10 shark movies. And every one of those is a hundred billion times better. Now I could actually make 30, a list of 30, you know, 10 or three part lists, 10 in each of movies that are better. And so I could probably make a list longer than even that of shark movies that are better than this, because at least those ones are fun. At least they don't have you just cringing from basically the halfway point on just wishing the movie would just end already because you know how it's going to end and nothing is happening that, uh, yeah, it's frustrating. And it had potential. There's some stuff to do with Aztecs and spirituality with them that I thought could have been interesting if they had delved into that in a better way. But it also, it also didn't feel, it felt kind of wonky. And I don't know, like I said, I haven't done any research. So I don't know who wrote this. I don't know if there's any real Aztecs involved or, or people that really know the belief system and all that because it, it just didn't feel quite right somehow it, it almost felt like it's someone that doesn't know what they're talking about trying to shoehorn in this ooh mystical belief that's just exciting but i could be way off because maybe it was someone but i mean yeah you will not take my family away from me but anyway that's gonna do it for me today thank you so much for watching this please do me a favor hit that subscribe button and ding that little bell because that's the best way to keep track of this channel and when i post videos like well not normally like this but when i post videos i post videos every single week i also want to give a huge massive enormous thank you to the ghost pirate crew you guys mean so 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 much to me you guys over on patreon and to the channel members over here just seriously thank you so much and if you'd like to find out how you can become a part of this channel help support this channel there's a link down in the description to patreon or if you want to look into becoming a member there's a little button right down there that says join but like always thank you so much for watching please crush that like button and remember guys horror can be fun and if you enjoyed this click right here to watch my review of bo is afraid and i'll see you guys next time